So today is not a sunny day like it normally would be here in Thailand. It's been raining quite a bit, which happens sometimes, but it's all good. The rain is gone now, so I can actually come outside and do my tra trail walk up the waterfall and just get outside in nature, which is really good because I've been indoors most of the day. So yeah, as the title of the video says, I have stopped intermittent fasting with a question mark, which if you've been watching my content for quite some time, you may know I got into intermittent fasting just over two years ago, well, around two and a half years ago now, and it's something that's gave me amazing benefits mentally and physically, holistically, hormone-wise, energy-wise, and so on. So, yes, I am now, for the first time, since about a few days ago or so, and I started experimenting with this a little bit here and there, just naturally wanting to do it. And that is with eating breakfast. So now, every day, I do eat breakfast. And now that may be getting you wondering, well, if intermittent fasting is working for you so well, why did you give it up? And what I want to say is I haven't given up intermittent fasting at all. I've just switched around the hours that I am having my eating window. It's as simple as that. Before it was normally me eating from around say 11 or 12 to around 6 or 7 or 8 p.m. And now it is completely different for the first time with me on my intermittent fasting journey. So I'm normally eating around 8 a.m. and finishing around half three anywhere up to about half four. And I always make sure when I finish eating is that I still intermittent fast a minimum of 16 hours. Sometimes I go a little bit over but I try not to do that because I want my eating window to ideally be eight hours and not shorter because it gives me a longer period of time to eat which will induce mTOR, well activate the mTOR pathways which sends you into an anabolic state which is absolute key to optimize muscle growth which I talked about that recently in another video. So yeah you may be thinking to yourself well why have you made this switch and what I want to say is it is very very simple. So as I had mentioned in another video recently if you haven't seen this one that Around 22 days ago now, I switched to 100% fruit diet. And yeah, if you haven't seen that, you can click the link for that video up above now. And what I had found since being on this diet and eating to my normal eating window, I found that eating so close to bedtime because I eat around 8 p.m. was actually making me not fall asleep as easily as possible and stay asleep as easily as possible and give me the best sleep quality possible. I found it was actually interrupting my sleep and just, yeah, just not having a good effect on my sleep overall. So then I started naturally, some days, finishing eating way, way earlier than what I would normally do. And then I timed 16 hours. So then the next day I would be eating way earlier in the morning. So yeah, I started experimenting with a little bit here and there, eating around 8 a.m., finishing around 4 p.m. and then trying out again, eating my last meal later in the day. And I just found the comparison with both of these against each other, that my sleep was just way more optimal and I could fall asleep way easier by finishing my last meal earlier in the day. So by me being in tune with my body and actually listening and then doing some experimentation, I've just found what works the best with me on this diet and around everything to do with sleep. So yeah, that is the only reason that I'm doing this. And what I'm finding, it actually feels nicer to go to bed without a full stomach. Because I was pretty much doing that when I wasn't eating 100% fruit diet, where I was having normally a fruit protein smoothie to break my fast and then a cooked food, plant-based whole foods, vegan meal. And on my journey, at times it felt good to me and at other times it just didn't feel so comfortable. But especially on this fruit diet, it just didn't feel right to me at all. And it just makes a lot of sense to me that it would be best to eat our meals when the sun is up rather than when it's really, really dark at night. Because from what I'm aware of, our production of digestive enzymes within the body are at its highest when the sun is up 
rather than down. And if you actually look to mammals who live in their natural environment, they're not going out and eating late at night at all. They get up early, they pretty much eat all day long, a lot of them, especially when it comes to like primates, for example, and then they finish eating really, really early. So it just feels that it's more in line with our natural eating rhythms and including mine because obviously I'm a human, you're a human too. So getting really in touch with that. Just like with me going to bed, I go to bed around the time the sun goes down. I think just eating before, it's just not a good idea as well because you think when your body is sleeping, it is wanting to rest and regenerate and heal. And I believe when you're digesting food by actually eating so close to bed, that it doesn't make those processes be as optimal as possible. And what I'm finding as well is when I actually wake up in the morning, I just feel more crisp, more alert, more energized, a lot better mentally, and just a lot better all around. So it is a win-win situation. And what I'd say is I'm not necessarily going to continue to do this when I get off of this diet, but it's just what I'm doing for now. And I'm always just keeping my mind open to anything and everything. Having a mind that's open to everything attached to nothing. So if something isn't working for me, I try something out, see if it works. If it works for me, continue to do it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Rather than being programmed with ideologies from many teachers that tell you that their rigid ways of thinking is the exact way to go and this is all that you should do and you shouldn't listen to anyone else that's just a very limited type of mindset to get in it can be very very dangerous i've done that many times and i will never do that again and one last thing i want to mention before i end the video is we are always in a constant state of fluctuation and changing and evolving so what may be working for you now or me now may not work in the future so it's always being mindful of that and if something isn't working for you, try out something else because you never know, you might find something that could just make you feel way better than what you're doing now. So yeah, got any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with others with specific people that you think would find this information valuable with you that I shared with you in this video today. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me talking about my own journey and things that are going on in my life, intermittent fasting, weight loss, dry fasting, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and many other videos that can help you go in a direction to gain and maintain the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels that I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and many other amazing benefits as well. So if this type of video is saying good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded and there's new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.